at it this way, y'all. They even ask us, what field do you work in? I felt like a slave. A slave. A slave. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Bonnie, and I'm back with another video. So, I've been getting a lot of questions about financial independence, how to quit your job, when to know to quit your job, and all that good jazz. Basically, there was a time where I hated going to work. Like, let's be real. I did not want to go to work. Getting up for a job just started to sound less and less exciting to me every day. Yeah, it was great money. It was the best paying qualified professional job that I could find at the time. I liked it at first because of money. Throughout my spiritual journey and just growing while I was at that job, I understood that money is just, it's, this made up, it's an illusion, in that you're worth more than $20. You're worth more than 18, 17, 25, 30 even. Like, we are rich in a sense. We have a brain on our shoulders that can manifest anything into this physical room. So, once I started to know that, and I just started to follow my intuition, there were little things here and there that would kind of just piss me off with the job. So, I just, I left, and I left that day they're not putting no two weeks in. I say, you know what? There's something better. And granted, I had already started my business, but you have to look at it like this. If you're going to a job that you don't like or you don't really feel fulfilled in this position and you know that you're worth more, start going with that feeling. Start going with that idea because you are. I used to be in this headspace of always trying to manifest money, 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 money. But I started to notice that sometimes money comes in in the form of books. And I was talking about this on my story earlier today. It comes in the form of books. It comes in the form of people, places. Places that you'll have, like you'll be like, why I keep seeing X, Y, Z? Why I keep, I remember the first time that I was even led to the bookstore to get into crystals. It was the craziest day ever because I kept seeing a billboard for McKay's used books. And I'm like, yo, you know, why do I keep seeing this? And that's another thing, I had to start practicing being more present, being more in the moment, understanding the state of being, and not getting too consumed into my emotions, not getting too consumed in what I was feeling. Understanding what I was feeling, but why was I feeling that way? What in this moment could I do to change that feeling? So. I started reading more. I started just listening to me more, basically. And it carried me all the way to creating my own business. I actually have two businesses now because what you will find now is that we're more in a digital marketing field, okay? And I hate to say field because look at it this way, y'all. They even ask us, what the, what field do you work in? I felt like a slave. I, I felt like I was confined to this eight to two o'clock schedule. I knew that I had to give up time to somebody else and then I could come home and do try to do the things that I need to do. I have dogs, I have to take care of them. Then I have to make sure that the house is cleaned up. Before you know it, it's like seven, eight o'clock. I gotta go to work tomorrow. I gotta go to sleep. So I just never felt like me. I never felt free. And when I started to see it like that, I knew it as mental slavery. So I had to free myself. And I chose to free myself in digital marketing. Everybody's on their phone nowadays. I started to think about it like, yo, nobody looks at billboards no more. Nobody is present enough to see any of that going on. Our billboards, our advertisements is now TikTok, is now Twitter, is now Snapchat even, is now Instagram. It's different type of platforms to socialize on. You have two different type of people. I started to be more so this person. Let's socialize, let's network. Some people go up there to socialize, post they, they shoes, they hair, they nails, whatever. That's cool if you wanna do that. But me, I wanted to be free. I wanted to work for myself. So what did I start to do? I start to create a brand centered around me. <laughs> so what I like to do, I like to talk. I like to be funny. I like to kiki -ki -ki joke. So I do a lot of educational content. I do entertaining content. I mean, I wake up every day and I just create content. That's all it is. I create posts. I create memes sometimes, reels. You might have to dance a little bit, but something that I see a lot of when people say, oh, you know, I've been having this business idea. Well then do it. We have. We got stuff like Canva. And my second business, if you don't know, is V's Divine Visions. Be sure to follow me on that platform. 
I create all type of content, websites, flyers, I mean, blogs, ebooks, literally newsletters. If you need something digitally, I'm that girl. Like, <laughs> I'm that girl. I can see what's going on and everything is going more digital based. But something I have also been kind of interlocking, if you will, is the aspect of digital marketing and real life, in a sense. So people that I meet, like in Greensboro, when I go to local areas, local events, I also reach out to them digitally. Everybody's on Instagram, everybody's on TikTok. You yourself are your brand. So you are talking about things you like, you're doing things that you love, and you are making a market centered around that. Like, it's that, that's all it is. And at first, it is very scary. It's very scary to say, yo, I'm gonna go full time doing whatever I like to do, I wake up, and do whatever I want to do and I'm gonna make a living somehow <laughs> it sounds crazy but I'm telling you the universe works in mysterious ways sometimes I meet people sometimes I go to different places and I meet new people there that then will be on my journey and that we're in alignment we have the same ideas we have the same vision and we just work and it's it's beautiful because it's the universe operating within us through us so I just learned to stop being scared stop being negative and get out of the way of myself because the universe operates on abundance there is no keeping a job and being scared that's operating on lack I don't know what lack is I know abundance like abundance in that you are in this universe it's infinite like <laughs> it's more than just this physical plane that we're on it goes out to nebulas galaxies all of that extraterrestrial bit all of that like it's a lot <laughs> we are abundant we are one so i knew if i could manifest negativity in my life because that's what i was doing staying at my job and hating it every day i knew that i could manifest positivity i stopped being scared man we we so quick to give our energy to the white men <laughs> But when it comes down to working on ourselves, building our dreams, building our future, we fall short. And I just hate that because we have every app you can ever imagine and think of to create whatever. You can create a website tonight. You can create a pamphlet tonight. <laughs> you can create a flyer tonight. Like, it's that easy. And people are so nice during these times. They will create TikToks content centered around how to help you and how to educate yourself to get to where you need to be so that you can work for yourself. Because that's how I feel like it should be. I don't think that we should be going to one place and working for one person and they get all this money. I personally feel like everybody should do their own, their own thing, what they like to do. Everybody have their own stuff because everybody's not gonna be able to know everything in one thing. And this is another thing, stop thinking that Oh, I can't do this because somebody already do it. Who cares? Who cares? Your idea is still gonna be bomb. Network with them, put them on game, put, you know, bounce off of each other. That's really what it is. It's networking. We are all one. There is no, we're not in competition, but give that up. I help people every day. I help people every day get to where they need to be. Like, I'm so tired of people having to go to a job or feel like they have to go to a job because they think so low of themselves. You're worth more than that. You have a brain that can create beautiful things, especially my melanated being. Oh, it's just a beautiful time. It's just a very, very creative time. This creative flow that we have lately is just beautiful. Like it's out here, I'm telling you. It's waiting for you to open it. It's a lot that goes into financial literacy, like your health, your wealth. I can get into all of that, but if y'all want me to do a course and teach financial literacy with health, in a sense, like health is really well. That's what I'm trying to get across to people. So let me know in the comments below. Um, like I said, follow me on all my social media platforms. That girl, Vani, with two I's, C-H-A-T-G-I-R-L-V-O-N-N-I-I. -N -N -I. On Instagram, follow me on TikTok, These Hidden Gems and on Instagram. <laughs> I have all these social handles now, good Lord. These are my visions where, you know, I envision your wildest dreams. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Like I said, comment below if you want a course. I'm doing an herbalism course to teach people herbalism and to maybe gain financial literacy in that. You never know what you may like. So all the courses, everybody getting taught something. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for rocking with me and still being here even though i haven't posted in forever i'm i'm always busy guys that's why i say follow me on my other social platforms because 
I'm up there on Instagram and TikTok more. Much love to you all. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.